What's next? I don't even know if I'm going to upload this. I just need to vocalize my feelings. Uh, depression during the holidays. I have everything I need. I have a okay job. I have a wife. I have a son. I'm, you know, I'm keeping my head barely above water, but it's, everything works out just how it needs to be. But I'm kind of sick of everything. Um, I'm sick of my bank accounts every week being at about $100 and just having to squeeze by those last few, you know, um, days before my check comes in. I'm sick of my, my wife sending money to, you know, her family when I'm just barely making it and she's not working. She hasn't had a job in... I don't know, 10, 12, 15 years, something like that. She had jobs off and off since my son was born, but she's always justified it well. She had to stay home with my, you know, help my son with school. But honestly, he was very self-regulated. He's a very good kid. Her staying home was never really necessary. But it was a good excuse. <sighs> I'm just, I'm just trying to vent right now and just things are coming to a point where what am I going to do? How am I going to resolve the situation? I could live very comfortably, very happy, but just getting by is my current lifestyle and I'm just not happy doing that. Everything happens for me as it needs to. Everything works out perfectly. If I'm driving, I always find a good parking place. Not a perfect parking place, but a good parking place. Uh, whatever I need happens to just pop up. Not a problem. I'm not, you know, bragging and I'm not complaining about it. Favor and luck, prosperity have always looked kindly upon me. But I kind of feel like those around me are kind of dragging me down. I need to, you know... I guess the point is that if they're dragging me down, maybe there's a reason and maybe it's my job to bring them up or... Is it my job to set them loose to let them find their own way? Because a lot of things I do, I kind of feel like I'm not helping them by them depending on me. My wife's family depending on me. Her, you know, using it as, well, I have to take care of my family. It's my obligation. It may be her obligation, but it's not my obligation. I just don't know. I mean, it's good just to vocalize it, vent it, let it out there, because maybe it's time just to me to get all the negative feelings out there, face them, face the dark side of myself, because things work out perfectly for me. Yeah, sometimes some stressful things happen, but in the whole scheme of things, things work out for me. It seems like whenever things don't work out for me, it's when I let others take control of situations. I can't do that anymore. Maybe that's my New Year's resolution for 2021. It's time for me to grab the reins, take control of my own life. Stop complaining about what others are doing to me and start taking control and saying, this is, no one does anything to me. It's me doing it to myself or allowing them to take control of the situation that I need to take control of. Maybe it's just my time to realize where I am, take responsibility for myself and my life. Because even right here, you know, there's a snowstorm and it's clogging the streets up, but I can just hunker down at my home and say, okay, don't need to go anywhere, everything's fine. Let things go, have everything I need. It's time to face my wife and tell her that no more. I can't accept this anymore. I mean, I've allowed it for 15 years since my son was born. I mean, since my son was born, my wife worked. But once my son was born, she she got laid off and then never found a position. And she jumped around a few times when things got tight, but it really took things getting really tight. 
That's the only time she kind of steps up is when things get at their worst. And that's just not a time to live. I'm a preparatory kind of guy, not to put up fires, I'm a prevent fires. Oh well, I should just focus on myself, find out how I can make my life perfect, how I can live, and then take the power back for me. And don't worry about what others think about me because it's not my problem. Because I'm a good person. I do take care of others, but sometimes I take care of others at the expense of myself. And that's a huge, huge mistake that I can't afford to do anymore. Afford psychologically, not financially, yes, but I can't afford to keep taking others responsibility upon myself anymore. Not anymore. I've got to take control of my life and start pulling the reins back when I realize just take time and pay attention to things and once I realize I'm losing control of a situation if I'm yeah I'm the driver of my life I influence my life my life is perfect everything that I do is perfect as long as I don't give away my control my divinity to others maybe that's the whole scheme of things Depression is when you allow others to influence your own mindset. Because even the, the bad voices in your own head, those are just voices that you accept from others or perceptions you think others have upon you. Or maybe just me trying to, just to step up and just look around and see how beautiful things are. Might be a little bit of a challenge, but... Just live in the moment. Live in the now. Yes, live in the now. And every now, reassess. And make sure not to relieving myself of my own control of situations. I'm not giving others control of what I think, I know, or I am. I erase, I delete, I destroy, I nullify. All connections to my slavery programming. And I'm not saying anything about real slaves, as in the African American slaves of the 19th century. I'm talking about them people using you and taking advantage of you and your own ability to manipulate yourself to make you think you're helping when you're actually. Just abusing yourself. Again, I'm talking around in circles. I'm sorry I'm meandering. I'm just trying to get my head around something that I don't know if I really can. But if anyone sees this, has any advice or critiques, because sometimes critiques are the best thing to snap you out of a bad situation. But that's all I can think of right now. And Maybe by saying it and putting it on video, I can look it over and reconsider my situation. Because sometimes the advice we give to others is really the advice we need to give to ourselves. So if I review this video as an unbiased observer, maybe I can give the right advice to myself. Or maybe not. What's next?